I could resist. This is of course the box of the Motorola Moto 360. Just wanted to share you. Don't worry, it's not getting a boring <laughs> unboxing video. Just wanted to have this in the picture. We are talking about the Motorola Moto 360. The final product is here. I tried it for one day and want to present you more details, more infos. First of all, I really like the feeling on my wrist because the leather is really great for those who know Horween, very classy, very great leather uh, manufacturers and you can of course change this wristband if you need to or want to and it's getting, um, you can get it in two colors. This is black and there is one called stone. I imagine this like, like this dark gray or medium gray like this one and the price at least in Germany is 249 euros without any contract recommended retail price. Yeah um, and the second thing I really liked is the very lightweight 49 grams including this hand wrist and that it's um, kind of 11 millimeter this is not that big one just like my regular uh, watch and the um, uh, diameter is 46 millimeters um, it's Gorilla Glass 3 so it's really uh, a high class and it's IP67 meaning it's resistant to dust and water 1 meter 30 minutes you have a um, down here you can uh, measure your heart rate and of course your steps so it's um, kind of watch and uh, included uh, these uh, fitness um, bands yeah um, motorola is telling me that this one is no amulet display and always couldn't believe this one because of the great contrast but I believe them of course they call it LCD with background illumination I do not understand that because every LCD has background illumination but there must be something different I do not know what but the contrast and the the uh, uh, the, the illumination is great. This is 1.4 inches resolution 320 by 290 pixels and 205 ppi. Um, it's not uh, totally um, um, uh, like a square because you can see down here that we have here uh, a black zone. Da below this one we have the sensor so for example illumination automatically. I do not have activated this one one because I wanted to give you the highest value this is five uh, concerning the uh, illumination here you see darker ones I would uh, urgently request um, you to uh, have that uh, automatically mode on because um, if not you will have just some um, hours uh, to, to uh, spend because the battery is just 320 milliampere hours. That's not too much. Even if you're just using a Bluetooth 4.0, including this low energy mode, nevertheless, it's LCD, no AMOLED display though. And as long as you use the display, you will uh, have a lot of power uh, consuming um, um, on, the, on this display here. So that's so simply. But it's not that big a problem because after some seconds it's, it's, it went out and if you're moving your um, your hand that's going on automatically you can read your um, uh, the time and like just on a regular um, watch so it doesn't seem as a bigger problem to me especially because you find um, in the box this little uh, thing down here that's it's a wireless charging station wireless not to the power line of course but wireless to the uh, watch and if you just pull them into plug that like this it's looking like that so after some seconds it's uh, going almost dark but I hope you can see nevertheless that there is a little bit illumination in the background down here so you can have it beside your bed for example so it doesn't disturb you while sleeping but nevertheless during the night you can see the time you can use the watch as a um, for, for waking you up and everything you want to so this uh, and if you imagine that you have a second for this in your bureau or wherever you need it 
you can uh, recharge it during the day. But on the other hand, I do not want to have my smartwatch uh, in a charging station. I want to have it on my arm. So uh, it's getting a little, little problematically because I tried it out for one day uh, with, I would say, medium intensity. And uh, at the uh, evening, I have had left a battery um, consuming a two, uh, 24 percent left so uh, i guess if you're having a lot of calls or a lot of um, uh, things you're doing uh, with the display you're getting in trouble uh, at, at the afternoon during the afternoon so um, you have to be aware that this one should be uh, not being used to uh, intense. So um, this is a problem at the moment, like on smartphones, of course, and this is LCD, no AMOLED, as I told you. So it's the same in, 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 in black, yeah, not in green. So you know what I mean, I hope so. Yeah, on the other hand, you should know you cannot have a f make a phone call or answer a phone call with this. There's no um, a speaker because this one is a heart rate monitor, as I showed you. It's not a microphone. Um, it, it's, it's not a speaker. You just have a microphone for um, using this um, um, voice recognition. I'm coming to this back a little later. I just wanted to show you how you will connect this to your phone. And I choose the LG G3 just for showing that it's not a Motorola uh, phone you need. It's working with every Android phone uh, having Android 4.3 or higher and having, of course, uh, Bluetooth 4.0. What's the case in most of um, the newer um, phones at the moment. So then Afterwards, you will install this Android Wear app it's, um, for free in the uh, um, Google App Store. And afterwards, you need Motorola Connect for free too, kind of a driver package. You won't need this one after the first pairing. And afterwards, you have on the Android Wear everything you want to. You can uh, choose what kind of apps have uh, uh, will synchronize and will um, uh, pop up and you can everything on the settings have here. So you can do not need anything on the on the on the phone. Um, the only thing you might wish to do is uh, this one over here. If you're just holding the touch screen, you can um, change the uh, the design of the watch, for example, if you um, like this one, you can just tap on it and change. Normally, the first one is enough. Okay, and then it changes this. This is the only thing you would need to do. And then you can um, have this uh, demo section for this one here, because I imagine this as kind of a Google Now on your hand wrist and we can see, and I'm now zooming in again, that you can have a closer look to this. For example, we can uh, do, um, let's say uh, this one here, it's kind of a flight information and um, then starting the clock down here, just move it and then a upward and you will see more information and um, uh, swipe to the left, it's going to further uh, details or to the right, then you will delete this one. Or if you have, let's say, this one here for more uh, sub information, you can see on the white dots down there, at least sometimes you can see it's not perfectly at the moment on white background. So you see your level, sub level kind of, and again, swipe to the right and then it's deleted again. You can now imagine how this one will work. And the other thing is that you will do everything with voice recognition. For example, if we have something like, okay, Google, timer five seconds. And then it takes some time, of course, and then in regular cases, he should start the timer. But at the moment, uh, this is a German device working with German uh, voice recognition. So, of course, it's not working at the moment. But you can uh, kind of um, imagine how this will work like. But you have to know exactly the voice commands. It's not working with everything you want to or imagine is working too. Okay, Google. 
And if you swipe up here, you'll find over here the examples, what you can say, which kind of um, commands are accepted. And um, you should know uh, that um, there is a little bug still, because um, I tried this one out. It's called uh, Listen to Music. Uh, and then one, it's starting the Play Music app by Google. I just wanted to present you here in the settings. This one means you just uh, should um, use downloaded, locally stored on the smartphone, the uh, songs and not on the cloud. And uh, if I do so, um, I will uh, say, okay, okay, Google, Musik hören. Musik hören. Musik hören. Now he got it. Okay, now he is opening the app uh, on the smartphone. And I'm stopping it here because I do not want to get any problems with the uh, legal um, from the music um, uh, sounds. But I wanted to show this one here. You see now the setting has gone. So meaning if you're using this um, uh, command, this one is uh, overriding the settings here and using all your songs you're having in the cloud. It's not that big a problem because you will have, you will know this option here, meaning just um, streaming when you're in uh, hi in Wi-Fi. Uh, so you're having no problems because of the money. But nevertheless, in case I do not want to hear my old songs, just the new ones downloaded locally in the phone, this um, feature is uh, overriding my settings here. So this is kind of, yeah. Definitely a bug. So Google or, or Motorola, I'm not quite sure who is in charge for this one, should definitely um, uh, run an update soon. Um, just wanted to show you that uh, there are a lot of nice things. I like the design, I like the device itself, the hardware. And for first, um, kind of first, almost first, at least for Motorola, for a first smartwatch, it's kind of okay, but you should uh, be well aware that's not everything um, so helpful like you might imagine a smartwatch could be, or at least I imagine. So I find 249 euros uh, a little bit a lot just for a nice gadget like this one, not helping um, so much like I would to end, especially at least least for me personally, uh, I would um, not like to have everybody in my um, uh, surrounding to hear what I'm telling my smartphone. I'm not a big fan of voice recognition or at least if you have to use it for 90% to uh, use your device. I do not like this very much, even if the device itself might be great. Yeah, I hope I could help you a little bit with uh, this first impression of the Motorola Moto 360. Please be so kind to uh, recommend my channel and to subscribe to it. Thanks for that in advance and take care.